if you've never had hot pot and you're not sure how to do it right, I'm gonna show you in this video how to have a better experience when you go and try it. So we'll start with the basics for hot pot. You should go to one that's all you can eat. You pay one price, like here it's I think like $26, $27, including the meats, the veggies, and then they'll have some additional items that you pay extra for, like pork belly. You go, you pick your broth, and for the most part they have, they'll have a tomato one, they'll have a seafood one, a veggie one, um, and then some sort of unique ones like this place here that we're at is uh, lemongrass hot pot in davie florida and they have like a, a tum yum uh, thai coconut milk one and then they have uh you'll have a spicy one too which is pretty standard at most hot pot places so you pick your broth they'll bring it out you get your meats your veggies your tofu crab sticks a bunch of different items even some places have some really crazy stuff if you're feeling adventurous like pig brain kidneys liver frog legs and this place used to do it and I've seen it at other places too where they'll give you like a, a paper menu and you just tally off what you want to get but then they changed it here and it's buffet style so don't be surprised if you see the paper menu and you pick what you want or buffet style you go up and get it yourself and when it comes to the meat you dip them yourself into the broth that you pick and it takes no more than 10-15 seconds of max to cook them and the best way to know for sure as long as the slice of meat that you dipped is completely changed color to the brownish color that it's supposed to be it's good to eat. Do not overcook it. It gets hard and leathery and dry. So 10 to 15 seconds max and you're good. It's cooked. Do not worry about it being raw. Another thing about the cooking your own food. So the meats take really quick, but then there's a few items that take a lot longer. The potatoes, the taro, the lotus fruit, all those take a lot longer. So if you want to have those, put those in first as soon as you get them right into your broth. They take a few minutes, five, six, seven, eight minutes. And so now you'll need to make your sauce too, which is arguably the most important part of hot pot. And uh, if it's your first time, you might get overwhelmed especially if they have a big sauce bar because there's so many different things that you should try. And uh, don't be scared to experiment either. Um, because a lot of them are really good and different combinations work well depending on what kind of flavor you want. If you want something salty, if you want something a little sweeter. But my go-to every time I go to get hot pot is usually sesame butter, cha cha sauce, soy sauce, chili oil, garlic, green onions, and cilantro. And um, I like to make it a little sweeter. So I put extra sesame butter and then a little less of the soy sauce. But then Chris here, like to be a little saltier, so I'll put less sesame butter and more, more soy sauce. And if you want it spicier too, just add a little more chili oil. If you don't want it spicy, take out the chili oil. You can really just really experiment. So another couple tips uh, for when you're eating hot pot. You usually get your setup of uh, a bowl, a spoon, a ladle, chopsticks. And uh, if you're not the best with chopsticks, don't worry about it. The meats are not heavy. Everything else can be, like the, the veggies sometimes. But with that ladle, it'll be no problem to get your stuff out of the, the broth. No problem at all. But the other tip is please be careful with the tofu and the eggs. So when you go to get hot pot, you'll usually see the um, like the real spongy looking tofu and those things are dangerous. They cook real quick. Well, it, I don't even think they really cook. They just like absorb the broth. But when you take them out, do not eat them immediately. You will burn your tongue. Me and Chris have done it so many times. Put them in your bowl, let them cool off for a good five minutes because they're filled with the hot boiling broth. So give them at least five minutes to cool off. And the same with the eggs. When you try to peel it, they're super hot. So give those also like 10 minutes to cool off before you start peeling them because you will burn your fingers and or the roof of your mouth. And another thing, they'll have like a bunch of noodle varieties which are better enjoyed at the end after you finish your, your meats and your veggies and everything else. But if you want to get your best bang for your buck, the best value out of your hot pot experience, Try to eat most of the meats. And some of the best ones are definitely the fatty beef, lamb if they have it, and pork belly. Here at this place, uh, it's extra for the pork belly, but it's worth it. I think it's like six bucks here. But if you can find that, definitely get some pork belly if you don't mind spending a little more. And yeah, go with those. And if you're completely unsure on what items to get, here's some of my favorites and Chris's favorites. So like I mentioned previously, we really like the fatty beef, pork belly, lamb. Um, but some other items include the crab sticks, the frozen tofu, the sweet potato, enoki mushrooms for sure, bok choy, and the eggs are good too. So stick with those if you have no clue what to get. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you want to check out what Greek foods and South African foods you should try, check out these two videos that I made. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.